apologize for keep you waiting. Now then, let's resume the class trial! We all just learned a shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy. Let's pick it up from there. Yes, well, I don't know his reason for hiding it, but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. To think that Chihiro was actually a guy. That thought had never even crossed my mind. And because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male, then yes, that would be true. Of course! His handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then there should be no issue with Makoto's initial assertion. The victim was killed in the boys' locker room, and was then later moved to the girls' locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girls' locker room. So Chihiro really was killed in the boys' locker room? I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but yes, that does seem plausible. Well, I must admit, I did find it rather odd. I knew he was a little... off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. This is the most titillating situation! So now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become clear. Okay, well, connected or clear or whatever. We still think you're the killer, remember? <laughs> very interesting. This has become very interesting indeed. Uh, he's off in his own little world. What about you, Makoto? After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya is the killer? Well, without a doubt, Byakuya is the one that made Jahiro's death look like Genocide Jack did. But. But I... I think he might not actually be the killer after all. What? But aren't you the one who accused him in the first place? He just seems to be too... easy going about all this. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. The way he's acting, it makes it seem like it doesn't even have anything to do with him. And you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too... How can I put it? Overt. He consciously chose to use the extension cord. 
knowing it would connect him to the murder. At least, that's how I see it. And Byakuya, when you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy, if you were really the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but it's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct for the time being. Mark it as correct? He's right. I'm not the culprit. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided to alter it. Are you fucking with us right now? No, I am not effing with you right now. I'm telling you the truth. Well, I find it very hard to believe. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why'd you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? Now then, if it wasn't me, who was it? Well, I don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. We're seriously gonna keep going? We're all good, aren't we? I thought it was clear Bayukaya did it. No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Because if we're wrong, we all die here. That's true. Very well then, I'm with you too. Damn straight, count me in. Do you not have a mind of your own? Of course I do. What am I, an ant or something? Anyway, let's discuss this all as a group one more time. We still have time to make our decision. That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent! Then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? But if Byakuya didn't do it, then who's the real killer? Who murdered Chihiro? There's one thing we can be sure that we know about the killer. The killer was able to gain access to the real murder scene, which means... I got it! Since the crime scene was the boys' locker room, you would need a boy's handbook to get in. Since Leon's handbook is apparently broken, the killer would have had to use their own. In other words, it had to have been a guy. But that's still not enough. I need to find some more clues. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing, but... Did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah, all we need right now is any kind of new info. It's all over. It's all over. You want to know who saw the victim? The killer. And only the killer. It's not like they're just going to turn themselves in. Game over, man. Game over. Yeah! No! Not game over! No. As a matter of fact, there is an eyewitness account regarding Chihiro. She has more information about that. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing, but... Did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah, all we need right now is any kind of new info. It's all over. It's all over. You want to know who saw the victim? The killer. 
and only the... No, that's wrong. I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, Celeste? Now that you mention it, yes, I did see him. Huh? Really? Oh, but I supposed only Makoto knows about this. The rest of you had no idea, did you? That is why you were all making such ugly noises. Whatever! Just hurry up and tell us! It was last night, right before nighttime. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. A track jacket and a duffel bag? But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. And that's when he said something that struck me as rather odd. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Chihiro told me he was in a hurry. But why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. So Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? But Hina and I invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Enough so that he was willing to risk his big secret being revealed. <laughs> what a marvelous friendship! The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But knowing what we know, I can't even guess. No, you already have what you need to make the connection. Huh? You know who the killer is. S seriously Wh Who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items and it should become obvious who is waiting for him. Are you sure about that? You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence that we don't even have? What, you want to track down some fingerprints or something? Even if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it! As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Easy for you to say. But fine. Celeste, did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? The bag was just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Do you think there might be a connection between the culprit and Chihiro's jacket? Perhaps. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. Does Chihiro's track jacket really hold some clue about the killer? Somehow, it's really hard to believe. First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? 
My tracksuit is black. I don't even have a tracksuit. Because exercising sucks. I have a white tracksuit, personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? No way. Not a chance. You heard him, right? What he just said without even realizing it? She's right. What he said just now is really odd. How did he know something like that? First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! So what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit? No, that's wrong. Hold on, Mundo. What did you just say? Uh-huh. What'd I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said... I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. She never said anything about the jacket's color. So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? You just... Hey, Celeste. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was... blue. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. Then, Mondo, how do you know what color Chihiro's tracksuit was? Because I... I just... I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was... is if he saw Cherry with it before he died! That's the only possibility! Cherry? Are... Are you talking about Chihiro? So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? J just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony, she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. When Celeste noticed it, Jiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the back. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. It would appear you've dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you had it in the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit, and it'll be obvious who we met up with. What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew who did it, to put them on edge. That's right. However... Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. But why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. There was a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you happen to refer to him as dude. 
Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. You notice such a tiny detail? Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! No, I'm not the frightful one. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. <laughs> Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I... 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 I didn't kill anyone! You've been all over me! Judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth! What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Yeah, he would never do something like that! This is a false accusation! It's true, my reasoning on that is pretty shaky. That was fast. Well, that does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. <laughs> my time has nearly come. That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Hifumi, weren't you telling me you'd found some evidence? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Jeez, did your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man, just tell us. If you really insist, then... Um, here it is. What do you have there? It happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. You found it on the ground, right? And then it must belong to... I got it! We know Chihiro's handbook went missing from the scene of the crime, right? For a fact. For a fact indeed! I was totally sure I'd found it! Then it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping, but it's busted. It won't even turn on! I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so... fragile. You're right, they're not! They're totally waterproof and shock-resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. And yet, this one does appear to be broken, as is Leon's sitting useless in the main hall. For all your confidence, that is a remarkably high failure rate. Do you think that there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? How precisely do the handbooks get broken? How did the handbook break? There's only one possible explanation. I got it! You already told us before that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah, you remember that? Sh sure, maybe I let that slip, but I never told anyone what the weak point was. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession, then... Then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. You know what that weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? Huh? You're asking me? I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. But if I tell you and someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. Just tell us already! Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> oh well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you won't follow their example? Then, allow me to make a special announcement! The weak point of my cutting-edge e-handbook is... When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally break! I flippin' knew it! You knew it? Yeah, cause I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna! The temperatures in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. It's strange how you don't get burned, huh? 
is because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. If the hot air of the saunas were somehow pushed directly into your skin, you'd definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So, when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Wow, interesting! I learned one new fact today! That is a mere trifling speck of knowledge! Anyway, if you found the victim's handbook in the sauna, then the killer must have been purposefully trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew of this weakness. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. Quite the mystery. What if they found out by accident? What do you mean, by accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? They'd realize it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. I might know someone who did. Whoa, seriously? I think the one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was... Who might have brought their handbook into the sauna? It had to be the one who wore all their clothes into the sauna. It was... Here's my answer. Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago. Remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. No, wait, hold on! You've got it all wrong! He would never kill! I don't accept this! Show me the proof! The actual solid proof! I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but... But I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Now, wasn't that just a despairing decent video? <laughs> if you like our content, be sure to drop the subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified when our next video comes out. If you want to watch even more despair, you can click on any of the videos beside me. I'll see you later!
Ha, 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 ha.